Hi viewers, here we have Dr. Chandrasekhar, Chairperson, Department of Aerospace Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam. Coming back to coming back to uh, the lab, which is a critical factor, which is uh, the vital thing which would uh, promote the particular department. So, what do you think? Uh, how well your lab, so-called, uh, maybe I don't know how many labs you have. Uh, what are the type of labs you have? Number all, one, all and which is the flagship lab? Which you flagship have flagship lab. Uh, uh, there is nothing like, like a, a flagship, flagship lab. lab. Okay. Because, uh, as I said in early, earlier, uh, aerospace means aerodynamics, structures, propulsion, and avionics. And in all the four, we have labs. Oh, so four labs are there. Four. And uh, recently, we have brought what is known as a fixed base simulator, and. Uh, what people do is you utilize it right in the beginning, first year itself. Oh. We have a lab, a part of that. Uh, uh, what is what is new about aerospace is in the first semester itself. Uh, the students get to meet all the faculty oh. along with the equipment. So we have a lab. Okay. What are the what is could you, name is name me few of the equipments what you have uh, with us, which is uh, which I could hear it could be a technical engines uh, engines okay. engines engines of the aerospace uh, yeah and uh, two two models uh, which are working uh, so in aircraft, working condition oh, MiG okay. MiG twenty nine oh. and uh, MiG twenty three and uh, the Kamov uh, helicopter oh okay. Both of them are there. It is in a yes. workable condition. Workable. You can fly it if you want. Yeah. No, uh, you, you can't, can't fly it. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know, you can do you that, but it, it is, it is. You, yeah, you yeah. need, uh, yes. uh, it is ready to fly. Okay, of. okay, fine. But uh, the Navy has given it to us for uh, experiments Body. purposes. And uh, that's what we do. Uh, in addition we, uh, to the simulator lab, we have these two. Flagship, I would say, uh, because it's uh, because it's been acquired recently, it will be the simulator lab. Oh, achha. okay, that would be the flagship lab. I'm sure the viewers would have been watching you talking about the aerospace engineering, and they are willing to take up the aerospace engineering, but they have a doubt. Why should I join Amrita? Oh, that is a question which I would like, which I would like you to answer. I have desired to join aerospace engineering, sir. But why should I join Amrita? Could you just tell uh, us about it, sir? Let me put this question. Whichever way you want, little but little we know we'll get the right answer from you, sir. <laughs> there, are, there are plenty of reasons why a person would like to come to, um, um, yes, uh, yes, sir. Come to any institute. Fantastic, yes. And there are so many parameters, like uh, peer pressure, like parent pressure, like uh, so many things. Pressures, yeah. Uh, he has to satisfy most of these in order to get here. So, if he is interested uh, in aerospace, he can do it anyway. Anyway, okay. If he wants to do it in a different university, which has got a spiritual component, then he should come to it. Uh, Amrita. Amrita. That's a spiritual that's content. The, in that's that. the, yes. And that we that is built in into our curriculum also. So, uh, spiritual knowledge and things like that. You could take into yoga, meditation, yes, yes. values, culture, ethics, all that's those things true. are being followed. Because true. I fully agree with you that uh, the more degrees you get, you become more literate. Correct. But if somebody wants to be educated, you that's need to be added with ethics and uh, values and exactly. systems, discipline, exactly. respect. Exactly. So, which I feel that or I believe that uh, Amrita is giving in addition to the yes. usual curriculum yes. in uh, other institutions which but they offer. All our uh, staff are totally dedicated to this uh, cause. That's, that's what makes the difference. Sir, like uh, once I get into a profession after my engineering, uh, I don't want to be a mediocre professionalist. I want to excel in my field. And since I think you're the most experienced person working for uh, companies, working for uh, government, IIT, teaching, I would like you to tell to the viewers that what exactly is uh, required by an engineer to excel in his profession and to keep moving up. Okay. Passion is one. One, yes. Sincerity. Sincerity. And, Sincerity. and okay. hard work. Hard work. 
So passion, sincerity passion, and hard work. Passion is the one which will tell you how to deal with hard work. Absolutely. And uh, sincerity is... That is there essential. in each of the... Yes. In, in any walk of life, yeah. sincerity comes... All this, all this is together with a blessing. Of the Almighty. Okay. Yeah. Or grace. Grace. That, that has to be that. Without that, you don't Without reach anywhere. So, yeah. you, you got to be at the right time, at the right, right place. place. Yeah. And to do the right thing. So, passion, sincerity, blessings from the Almighty. Yes. Would take you a long way towards reaching Correct. your goal of Correct. success. Thank you so much, sir, for spending your Thank valuable you. time with us. Thank and I'm sure many of the viewers would certainly be blessed to hear you and uh, walk towards your department for the years to come Thank to be you. more successful aerospace engineers. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.